Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala nebiyyina Muhammed ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem. Ama berhabeti fila. Assalamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve berekatuhu. İmam Bukhari rahimullah ta'ala he mentions in his sahih in the book of uh, marriage about the meşru'iyya of the legislated permissibility, the legislative permissibility of marrying more than one wife, that that is from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu and that is the best of this ummah if one is able to do so and fulfill those requirements. Qala Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala haddathana Ali ibn al-Hakam al-Ansari qala haddathana Abu Awana an Raqbata an Talhata al-Yami an Sa'id ibn Jubair قال قال لي ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما هل تزوجت فقلت لا أو قلت لا قال فتزوج فإن خير هذه أمة أكثرها نساء نريد سعيد بن جبير رضي الله تعالى عن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما asked me are you married I replied no he said marry for the best person of this Muslim nation of all other Muslims, had the largest number of wives. And this is in Ruahu Bukhari, uh, in the Bab, the chapter of uh, marriage, Nikah. This hadith, Ahaba Tefillah, it shows us the Ahimiyya uh, Tezweej, or the, the importance of marrying in Islam. And that if a person is able to, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in another hadith, then they should do so. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Ya ma'ashir al-shabab min istata'a minkum al-zaw... Min istata'a minkum al-ba'a fil yatazawaj. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, O youth, those amongst you who are able to marry, they should marry if they are able to do so. If one has al-ba'a, and al-ba'a, as we've mentioned many times, has to do with the qudra, the ability to marry, uh, and that ability is of two types. That they have the physical ability, meaning akrama kama law, they, um, a, as a man, that they're able to function. They function. They, they can, they, they function akrama kama law sexually. And as, uh, the second type of, uh, uh, or the second explanation for ba'a that the scholars mention is that they have the financial ability. So if one is poor and they don't have the ability, then unless the woman is willing to be patient with that, in general, the asal is, is that a man, he marries a woman, he gives her uh, her mahar, her dowry, and he takes care of her. You know, he has a, a place either that he rents or a place that he gives her the food, the shelter, and clothing, and safety, and, and those those other things that come with marriage. And so that is uh, very important, as the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam mentioned, Ya Ma'ashir al-Shabab, Min istata'a minkum lilba'a filiyat al-Zawaj. O youth, whoever from amongst you, whoever from amongst you is able to marry, then they should do it. That Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he asked me, are you married? I replied, no. He said, marry for the best person of this nation, of all other Muslims, had the largest number of wives. So this shows us that, it, of course, the mishru'iyah of marrying more than one wife in polygamy. It also shows us that from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, aside from polygamy, of course, is just having a wife. So a person should not, uh, if they are, uh, unless they are able to handle themselves, you know, control themselves, stay away from the muharramat, they should not uh, seek to delay marriage. In fact, the scholars of Islam encourage it deeply in accordance with the book and the sunnah. So those are just some of the benefits that we gain from this hadith. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our gonna forgive our evil.